and welcome to The Pandorian Plant, a Star Stable fan game. So this is a bit of a different video because this isn't like a big official game or anything like that. This is a fan game made by Therese Catcamp. You can see her Instagram handle up on screen. She has gone ahead and made a fan game, which is sort of like a visual novel where apparently you, the decisions you make will actually have an impact on the game and you can get one of the five endings. So that's really exciting. If you want to check out the game for yourself because it's completely free, you can find it linked down below. But I'm genuinely super excited to see what our story will look like. Thank you Therese for making this amazing game and although I'm not going to play Star Sable anymore I will play this game because uh, maybe the story in this one makes sense. Okay, I will be, I will be, I will be too passive aggressive in this. Right, we'll go ahead and full screen. Um, Therese says, hey there, what's your name? My name is Abigail. Just go with Abigail instead of Abigail Pinehaven. Okay, nice to meet you Abigail. Oh, I put it all in caps so everybody's gonna be yelling at me the entire game. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> It is what it is. Hello, Therese. I'm the developer and artist of this game. Before we start, I want to mention a few things. Okay, all of the characters in this game do not belong to me. They belong to Star Stable, so this is just a fan game. My program somehow doesn't let me go above 720p, so I'm sorry for not having the perfect picture quality. That is perfectly fine. It looks amazing so far. There are multiple endings in this game, and not all of them focus on Idris. I haven't decided. Are we going for an Idris ending? I don't know. I'll see what the decisions are. Maybe we won't go for an Idris ending. Who knows? Also, big thanks to my friend Zuzana, who helped me with some of the text and ideas. She's a great artist and amazing writer herself, so make sure to check her out. There are her links up on the screen. Screen. So, also if you don't know me yet, I'm Natalie, ah, or well, Therese Catcamp, and you can also find me under that name on Instagram and see more of my stuff. Yes, I plugged you at the beginning, Therese. If you want to ask anything about the game or just want to chat, feel free to text me anytime. Oh, she's so sweet. So enough of this, let's start with the game. Have fun. I will try, I will try, Therese. Wow, this is a really nice starting screen. Um, we'll go ahead and click start. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so this is our bedroom, day one. Oh, there's music. That's so nice. Another sunny morning in Moreland. Perfect to start the day. Sigh. <laughs> glad I read the stage directions. I'm glad I have the day off today. There's always so much going on. I should relax a bit today. There isn't much I can do. I could go for a ride. Though maybe my horse wants to rest a bit as well. Last week was full of training. Still, nobody's going to stay on inside on a beautiful day like this. You decided to go for a walk on your own feet. Okay. There was a fresh breeze at the beach in Moreland, but the temperature was just right. Oh, that sounds lovely. This sure is relaxing. You know what? I might as well stay here for a bit. You sat down on the beach and felt at ease. You tried to look at the sea's horizon, but it got covered from South Hoof, the island on the opposite of Moorland. Can you see South Hoof from Moorland? I think so. <laughs> you turn your head a bit to the right, and now you're able to see it. The sun got reflected by the water and you could barely see anything now. Is there someone standing near that dock? You put your hand above your eyes to create a shadow and squeezed your eyes. No wait, is that a horse? Why is it standing there all by itself? You decided to get up and approach the dark horse. Oh, hello. Nay. Oh, it's Z. Hello. Um, it's all right, my dear. Why are you all alone? Where is your owner? You put your hand on the horse's nostril and calm it down. <laughs> okay, so we went pat pat. You continue to stroke it and notice a small box on the ground. Ah, apparently I'm fearful of boxes. <laughs> you bent down and found a note attached to it. Oh, goodness. The handwriting was elegant, yet a bit hard to read. I'll re property of the amazing Idris. If found, please return to Nilma's Highland along with the cargo and you shall be rewarded handsomely. P.S. In case of stubbornness, use cookies. PPS, but not too many, no matter how much she begs. Oh, that's cute. Just when I thought I will relax today, there's another task coming right at me. So, from what I gather, this is the first storyline in the game where you meet Idris as well. At least I'll get this handsome reward. <laughs> is that a joke? Are you calling Idris handsome? That's funny. Whatever that will be. The fact he called himself amazing makes me wonder who that Idris guy is. Nilma's Highland, that's just up the hill. I guess we could count it as a walk then. You looked at the note again and read the two lines at the end. You giggled and put the note down. I heard you like cookies. Nay's in agreement. Oh, should I actually neigh? No. <laughs> Come on, follow me this way. You gave the horse the promised cookie and it followed your steps. Stops. The horse snorted, demanding another cookie. Now, ah, girl, I heard you're on a diet. I'm just bringing you back to your owner. I promise this isn't that far and I promise you'll get another one if you walk a few more steps with me. You waved the cookie in front of her and she followed you reluctantly. Good girl, there you go. Now up the hill. You both trotted up the hill to get to Nilma's Highland. Ooh. You looked around, but all you could see was the abandoned farm. I sure hope this wasn't a trap or something. Thinking about it, this place is a bit suspicious. There was nobody around to be seen. You exchanged looks with the horse. <laughs> Can't you tell me the way? Stomps. You want more cookies, don't you? I guess I don't have a choice when, uh, when I want to bring you back. You gave the horse a cookie and she joyfully started moving again. Seems like you only work when someone is giving you treats. Same, Z, same. You only you followed the horse and you both passed the farm. Okay, so that was the abandoned farm. The horse leads you to the small open field and stops- Oh, there's Silver Glade Castle! That's so cool! You want more cookies? Mm-hmm. Stomps. What is it? Nobody's here either, sorry. 
I'm starting to think this horse just got abandoned, but why the note then? Right then, someone appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Oh goodness, that's actually quite scary. Wow! My reaction, oh god, that is actually a terrifying looking character. What the hell? Sorry, we're closed. Oh, the music changed. Closed? What a creepy guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. I almost forgot why I'm here. Um, Idris, question mark? Here is your horse. <laughs> uh, let's go with like, let's ask about Idris. Um, are you Idris? <laughs> Mas Idris would be offended if he heard you. Huh? Seems like this guy isn't him, though I'm not sure anymore if I want to meet Idris. That's all right, Zin. I'll take it from here. Oh, here's Idris. Should I, should I put on a voice for Idris? I should. The old man appeared as fast as he came. If it isn't Abigail. <laughs> Hi, Idris. If it isn't Abigail. <laughs> Wait, how do you know my name? I, the amazing Idris, know all name, even yours. Well, most of the time. He seems a bit unordinary too, but better that than the man balls in. That's so mean. We're so mean. Oh, and he's kind of like dot 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 good looking. Help. <laughs> Who is that you came here with? Is that my dear horsey? I'm glad she finds someone with a golden heart to accompany her here. I even made sure not to give her too many cookies. Oh, but she begged. Indeed, my lovely Z. Almost like sweets as much as I do. It just has a sweet tooth. Uh, thanks to you, she's back home where she belongs. You live where exactly? Except for some hay and boxes, there wasn't anything around here. We're all here, standing right on the ground of the amazing Circus of Dreams. Uh, Circus? What? A circus? Yes, I came here to bring joy to the people of Jorvik. Aren't you from Pandoria or something? Now, if you would stand back a bit, Z. Nay! <laughs> Still hungry, aren't you? You'll get another cookie, but just this time. Oh, look at Z! She's so cute! Happy nay. Z trots to the right with a cookie in her mouth. Idris moves a bit to the right as well. I don't see much around here yet to build a circus. Oh, it's all in this box. Take this. Oh, he hands me a sparkly box. It weighs less than I thought. Looks like a rather small circus. You shake the box. <laughs> Mm. You ready? Yes. I don't quite know what's going on. Should I be scared? <laughs> Honestly, I have that question. Should I be scared? If you keep standing where you are, you won't have to be concerned. Okay, so I just don't move. Huh? It just does some movements with his hands. Oh, and the box is gone. The box? Huh? <laughs> I've seen a lot, but this? The ringmaster smoked at you. How did you- Magic, of course. This is a circus after all. What a pleasure to meet the anime is my first visitor. It is an honor to have you here, my dove. Did it dove? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You hoped you weren't getting uh, red from the sudden nickname. Am I? Am I getting red? Uh, thank you. You smiled. Of course, my dear. I didn't forget about your reward. Oh yeah, right. The uh, handsome reward. You look at Idris, curious about what he's going to say. Unfortunately, I don't have much to offer yet, but a free circus entry for you will do. I mean, it's not really a handsome reward, but sure. You know what? You shall always be welcome in my circus. For free, that is. To show you my gratitude. Oh, thank you. That's really nice of you. Not quite a handsome reward, but there you go. Anything for you, my dear. So when will those shows take place? Oh, the first one will start very soon. It would be lovely if you could join. I already put up flyers all around Jorvik to make sure everyone knows about my big show. Weird. I didn't see any. But at what time will it start? Time? Yeah, I gotta know if I should go back home and change clothes first, so when to come back. Well, I think you can just stay for now. It won't take long for the show to start. Why isn't he telling me a time? Whatever. Sure. Oh, it's just a sure. <laughs> this is awkward. What am I supposed to do? All right, then. I'm going to do some preparations. Wait outside. Oh, okay. But don't worry, I'll tell Zin to entertain you in the meanwhile. Uh, no, don't bring Zin back. He's a bit scary. I don't want you to be all alone, after all. He was gone before I could say anything. Gee, he's not that guy. <laughs> Though it was nice of him not to leave me by myself. Oh, hello. Uh, it always seems like he comes out of nowhere. Oh, um, hey there. <laughs> Master Idris called me here! I don't know if I should talk to him or not. He still gives me the chills. Let's try some small talk. So have you, um, always worked for Idris? He is my master. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that means a yes. Where did you come from? Idris. <laughs> question mark, question mark. Uh, his ass is just getting worse. He's like some low intelligence robot or something that um, only has lines recorded. At this point, I don't even dare asking any more questions. You can enter the circus now. I'm so glad I gave him that voice. Thank you for, uh, thanks. <laughs> the tent was still dark when I entered. I seemed bigger from the inside. You choose a nice place to sit. Slowly, the tent seemed to fill up a bit. And you were surprised that there were actually people coming here. Then the lights went on. Idris appeared out of nowhere, threw his hat, and caught it again. Mmm, he's kind of cool. <laughs> you didn't have to put the mmm at the beginning. He politely greets the audience, thanks them for being at his first show. I also have to mention the beautiful Abigail, who assisted me when building this place up. Ah, thanks Idris. A ray of light hit your face and your hands shielding it off. You got all red and awkwardly waved. Oh, we're just sitting there in the audience like, oh. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't expect him to do that. As soon as people uh, started to draw their attention elsewhere again, you put your hand on your cheeks trying to cool them down. After that, he, the actual show started. He asked for volunteers for one of his tricks. 
You weren't one of them. The whole audience already had their eyes on you. You didn't need that for a second time. Idris performed some tricks with them. You already know he was really good when he made the whole circus appear in front of you, but he still didn't fail to amaze you again. Next up was some animals performing performing some stuff. I like how, like, it's like, oh yeah, he did some tricks and he was wonderful. And then it was like, yeah, some animals did some things. That part was rather short, but it's still very nice. Where is he getting all these animals from? Then some white Lusitanos came in. They performed some tricks and at the end they circled him. Idris throwing his hands up in the air. Then the lights went out and the audience started clapping. They got up and left and so did you. That was, oh, it's nighttime now. When did it get dark? I guess I should head home. Oh God, feed my horse. Um... Abigail, <laughs> he's just yelling at me from like across the across the circus. I'm glad you didn't leave yet. He looks really awkward. Uh, why do you look awkward? I was about to, um, but it's fine. I have time. It just smiled at you. His smile is adorable. <laughs> okay, ch chill out. Tell me, did you enjoy the show? I feel like it's mean to say yeah, it was okay. It was great, yeah. It was amazing. I've never seen it magic like that. And, and I, may, I mean that. Thinking about the fact that I actually do know people who can do magic, including myself. Okay, so we already know that we're a soul rider, I assume. Oh, Abigail, <laughs> you don't know how happy it make, uh, makes me to hear this from you. Oh, he's blushing. So calm down. He cleared his throat. Anyways, I wanted to mention that I have a fortune telling tent as well. You can visit me and let me tell you what your future holds anytime you like. You can do that as well? Well, do I even have to be surprised anymore? I mean, he even knew my name somehow. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. I will stop by sometime. With pleasure. I don't want to detain you from going home any longer. I wish you the sweetest of dreams, Abigail. <laughs> Thank you. Good night to you too. You enter the stables. Oh, this is... Oh, wow. These stables. Are we boarding at Moorland? Um, and take care of your horse. After feeding your horse, you go home. Your free day passed faster than you thought. And you definitely not how you thought. The circus in Jorvik. That Idris guy sure is something special. I wonder how he does tricks. Or well, maybe it's real magic. Then why have I never seen magic like this before? Because he's from Pandoria. And he does fortune telling too. Mm. I kind of want to see him again. So why not check it out tomorrow? Do we have work tomorrow though? Day two. Eh, <laughs> what a great start to my day. Jeez, my alarm. You take out your phone. Oh, it's nine, 9 a.m. I got a new message it's from Lisa. Don't forget the meeting at 12. Elizabeth said it's important. I already know that there is a meeting at 12, but it's nice for her to remind me. I wonder what Elizabeth wants. You write back, I'll be there. Sighs, <laughs> time to get up. You leave your house. Today is just as nice of a day as before. I still have time until the meeting. I really could go to the fortune telling, but today I'll go by horse. Hello, my dear, let's see our, our horse. Nay. Sorry that I visited you a bit late yesterday. You take your horse and prepare it to go out. You, you open the stable and leave. Oh yeah, because of course we technically don't have a character model so the horse wouldn't have one either. Okay, that makes sense. Nobody was around. I wonder where Idris might be. Um, We'll look into the fortune telling tent. I feel like he'd be in there. As I was about to open the curtains, someone came out. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, Abigail, you're finally here. Hi. He makes it sound as if he already knew I was coming. Maybe he did. I, uh, yes, how may I help you? God, can you stop looking at me like that with a genu genuine smile? I'm sorry, Idris. I just met you. You need to calm down, sir. I wanted to try the fortune telling you offered me. Of course, my dove. Follow me. Why am I nervous? Or is it because he called me by that nickname again? What, Abigail in full caps? Ooh, this tent is really pretty. You enter the tent. Oh, this place looks nice. Idris sits down and so do you. Oh, hello. Welcome to my fortune telling tent, Abigail. Hi. In here, uh, he looks even more charming. <laughs> so what are you here for today? Um... A fortune? What What else are you doing in this tent, Idris? Of course, my dear. I just wanted to hear it from your lips. Okay, sir, you need to chill out. Just, just go outside, take a breather, touch some grass, and then come back in. You raise an eyebrow. <laughs> is there anything else? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, this is a bit too much. This is a bit too, too much simpage. Um, oh? Oh my god, did I just flirt? Why did I do that? I had no choice in the flirting. Uh, never mind. All right, let's begin. I got three cards here for you. You may pick one. He shows you the cards. Ooh, I'll pick uh, the one on the right. Crossroads. Interesting. Abigail, destiny is not entirely set in stone. Not too long ago, I saw a man whose cow was exchanged with a little bit of money, but soon he had empty pockets. Interesting. His sad fate was determined by a deceitful merchant, and yet he is to blame for making the wrong turn. Huh. Is that a metaphor? Yes, that was a metaphor. <laughs> Am I supposed to learn something from this? If you see it that way. I'm not even sure if I understood it. It just giggles. <laughs> He's just there like, do <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Words of fortunes might not always be clear, but they do have a meaning. Thank you for coming to my reading today, my dove. That was it? I was kind of hoping for more. Oh, you were? Seems like you can't get enough of me, Abigail. You feel your face going red. But that's not how I meant it. Seems like you can really read. I'm just going to go with that's not how I meant it. That's not how I meant it. Pardon me, how do you mean it then? The way he looked at you made you forget what you were even thinking. <laughs> I feel like my choices are like kind of taken away uh, by the fact that I'm just constantly flirting with Idris. <laughs> oh, um, never mind, I guess. 
Even though this was all I could tell you today, I hope to see you again at the circus. Of course, I will come around sometime. I can always enter for free after all. You giggle. Tee <laughs> I have to go now. Bye, Idris. <laughs> Goodbye. You wave and left the tent. Idris smiled. Bye. I have to go to some very important meeting. Well, that wasn't too bad. You take out your phone. Oh, I got a cute phone. This late already? Oh, I need to, I need to scoot. Well, perfect time actually, enough for me to get to the meeting on time. Oh, there goes my phone. You hop on your horse and ride off to the meeting. You meet Alex right before the entry. A bit late, aren't you? Says the right one. You both rush to the others. Oh, hello, Elizabeth. Wow, the character designs are so nice for them. Elizabeth didn't seem to be mad. I guess we aren't that late. So it seems like everyone is here now. What's the news? We have been sensing some kind of power, energy. It isn't strong, but it's there and it could be Pandoria related. But how, did it just come out of nowhere? We don't know. No matter what it is, I can't uh, get it into the wrong hand. Uh, you know what Dark Hall could use it for. I guess we have to find it. But yes, exactly. If possible, bring it back here. It's Idris. It's, I already know who it is, it's Idris. What if it isn't an object? Just inform me about it and then I'll discuss what step we should take. I think it's best for you to go in groups of two. Do I get to choose? I get to choose who I get to go with. Um, I really like Linda. I kind of want to take Linda with me. Linda, let's go. I like your choker. I want to go with Linda. Linda gave you a warming smile. She likes spending time with you. <gasps> Thank you, Linda. Okay, so Alex and Lisa will go to Moreland Beach. Okay, already on our way. You and Linda, look, you can find anything on Nilma's Island. You already know he's there. Sure, let's go, Abigail. Okay, let's go, Linda. Ooh, uh, so here we are. You smile at Linda. I wonder where we should start looking. I wish we knew what to look for in the first place. I will look over there. You search here. You both look for the energy Elizabeth told you about. Hmm. I could talk to Linda more. I quite like her. Yes. Ask about her favorite book. Ask about her. Uh, I'll ask about her favorite book because I feel like that's what she wants me to ask. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about your favorite book. Oh, do you? She seems very happy about that question. Yeah, I thought maybe I could read more. I figured that you'd be the best person to ask. Glad you think so, Abigail. Well, I really like Knights of Unistra, but that is a manga. Is it? Is that canon? Or is it just a comic? Isn't manga, like, specifically Japanese? Oh, I have heard of it. I mean, well, it's written on your t-shirt as well, so... Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think I'll check it out. I heard only good things about it. You will? That makes me happy. Ah, oh, Linda, I love you. You're so cute. Actually, there is a nice of Unistra to play a game. I wanted to try out. Oh, Linda! Yes, let's go. And I guess you want to ask me to play it with you? Yes. Oh, blushes, if you don't mind. No, I'd love to. Great. You'll just have to stop by a farm before that. You could accompany me there? Okay. Sure, but we have to finish our task first. Right, I almost forgot why we're here. You both giggle. Tee. You walk side by side around Nilma's, hoping to find something. Suddenly behind a bush, you see something odd. It was glowing and sparkling a bit. Hey, I think I found something. Where? Here. You bend down to grab it. Oh, it is a just a whole Pandorian plant. Okay, what is that? Looks like a plant to me. Do you think it's what's caused this, this sense of energy? I mean, if it isn't that, what else could it be? You're right. This sure isn't a normal plant. We better take it back to Elizabeth. Yeah. As you jump back on your horse, Linda calls out to you. Abigail! Yeah, Linda? Yeah? Good job. Finding the plant, I mean. I'm not sure I would have seen it. Ah. Kind of felt like she wanted to say something else at first, but it was nice of her to tell you that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I stutter a lot. You both get on your horses and ride back. Ooh. Secret circle. The others aren't here yet. Oh, you guys are already back. I sure hope you didn't come back empty-handed then. All right, Elizabeth, calm down. No, we found this. You take out the plant. Ooh, interesting. It's huge. Is that like in comparison to these two? That, that plant is genuinely massive. Actually, Abigail found it. Question mark? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> but I'm glad you were by my side as well. You got a bit red and Linda smiled. Oh, Linda, we floating girl. Do you know what that thing is? I'm not sure, but it seems like a Pandorian plant. A Pandorian plant? Why is it growing here in your thick? I don't know either, but it's good that it's in our hands now. It seems like a plant you can mix potions with. Maybe the druids will find some use for it. Elizabeth takes the plant. The others aren't even back yet. They must be looking really hard for it. But since you two found it, I'm sure they'll come back soon. So we can leave for today? <laughs> can we clock off? Oh, she wants to come play Knights of Unistra with me. Linda glanced at you for a moment. Yes, you can. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, we will. Linda seemed excited about our meetup, but I honestly, I was too. Let's go then. Yes, come on. Let's go play Knights of Unistra with Linda. Uh, why did we come here again? Oh, I forgot to tell you, sorry. I'm helping Thalia by finding something for herbal tea. Not quite Knights of Unistra gameplay, but that's fine. Maybe I should visit Thalia sometime as well. I really like it here. Oh yes, me too. It reminds me of my home in Pakistan. There were flowery fields um, nearby that I love to go to. I went there to pick flowers, chase bugs, and sometimes write stories under a tree. But that sounds lovely. It really was. So I better keep looking for those herbs now. As Linda bent down to grab something, her glasses fell. Oh no. Oh hi, Linda. I think I've never seen Linda like this, but I like it. Now, I think she looks better with her glasses on. Can we remove the stigma of like glasses making people like less attractive? Because I think glasses look wonderful. Linda, you slay queen. You look so different without your glasses. 
but really pretty. I mean, you always look beautiful, even with your glasses on. Ah, Linda got red and you felt a bit awkward. Thanks. Could you maybe help me pick them up? <laughs> they must have fallen somewhere between the flowers. It's hard for me to see them. You bent down, but you picked up something else instead. Oh, I can see that well, but those don't look like my glasses. Are you sure? Oh, you teased Linda a bit. I thought I was like, am I okay? Am I having a stroke? You, I'm like, <laughs> I just like pick up flowers and I'm like, here, your glasses. You teased Linda a bit and giggled. Teehee. Let me put them on. The flowers? Oh, okay. I was, oh, I thought you meant me. You stepped closer to Linda, putting the flowers in her hair and wiped away a strand that was hanging in her face. Oh, look at us, we're getting all cute. Here you go. Linda smiled at you, kind of made you feel something. Are we in love with Linda? Now you look even more adorable. Saying this made your face heat up as well. Linda giggled. Thank you, but I'm still not sure though when, <laughs> when my glasses went. She's like, I still can't see. <laughs> you might be right. You should take another look. Stop teasing me, Abigail. You know I can't see them. All right, all right. This time you picked up the glasses and put them on Linda. Thank you for that, and the nice flower. Let me just gather the herbs real quick. Linda walked around the field, coming back shortly after. Great, I got everything I need, including this. Linda pulled up something from behind her back. Ooh, it's a, a rose! She gave us a rose! Yes, I had to repay you. You were so kind to give me the flower, and you've got to receive one too. I hope you like it as much as I did. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, you giggled, teehee, while hiding your blush uh, face behind your hand. Where did you even find that? She didn't answer, she just laughed. You put the flower in your bag. Well, I got everything. We could head to your place now? I have the game with me. Oh, we're gonna go play Knights of Unistra. You both got onto your horses and got to go home. Hey, listen, I'm doing very well in terms of reading. Normally I would have messed up far more than I currently have. Linda entered your room. So this is my house. I can't remember the last time she was here. You put the rose she gave you into a vase. As you, oh, it actually, it actually adds to the background. That's so sweet. As you turned around, you saw Linda smiling at the picture on your wall. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's like them. Isn't, it, isn't that a bit strange that I've just got a picture of them three and I'm not in it? But uh, so, uh, yeah, this is my room. It's nice. As you can see, there's still a lot of space in my bookshelf. You giggled. Teehee. So are we gonna play the game? Yeah. Linda got the game out of her bag. It's more of a retro game, but it's still cool. I'm excited to play it with you. Me too. You opened the game. Ooh. Whoa, cool. I wanna be Azura. Oh, nice. I'm gonna play as Dawn, if you don't mind. Yes, that's fine. Oh no, I don't mind at all. Alright. Who will you play as? Uh, I barely know them. I guess I'll take Azura. <gasps> that wasn't a choice, but yes, I would've chosen Azura as well. Sure, let's start. Azura, look. Oh gosh, so that was like gameplayception here. Um, Azura, there is something on this planet. Azura, we should go check it out. Dawn, maybe we can find a clue. A clue for what? The other knights are missing and we have to find and save them before we fight against the final boss. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I hope I don't do too bad. Don't worry, you won't. The first levels are really easy and they get harder over time. All right, you land on the planet. A squat appears. Oh, look at us, we're so cool. Wait, am I, am I the blonde one? I don't know, a squat appears. Dawn, easy one. I think that's Dawn then. She, see, she knows. You giggled. Tee hee. Uh, Dawn's turn. She, I, I will use magic. Dawn uses magic. Okay, so I am the blonde one. Take that. Oh wow, that's a, that's a lot of damage. Squat attacks. Oh no, it missed. Okay, so it's like a Pokemon kind of game. This is kind of cool because it's like a game within a game. Uh, Squat isn't doing well. It, it isn't a very strong opponent. Even when it hits, it doesn't damage your health much. Azura's turn. All right, I'll go with... Um, I'm going to fight it bare hand. I'll try fighting. Azura attacks. Um, Azura giving up yet? She reminds me of, um, Adora, actually. Uh, haha, I made it. Squat fleas. Dawn, I told you this would be easy. You and Dawn are really saying the same things. Well, it's good I play as her. Aren't we right, though? You and Linda giggle. Teehee. Yes, you are. I guess we figured out how this works. I'm not doing that bad after all. It will only get harder from now on. Oh, jeez. I'm sure together we can do it. You and Linda kept playing for another hour or two. She was right. The levels were getting harder. Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, it's already dark? Time passes faster when you're having fun. Aw, that's so true. Can I just say this background's really pretty? Like, I like how the light changed as well. Really nice. Oh, that's so true. And how did you like it? I had such a great time. I, I could have played even longer. I'm glad you enjoyed it that much, Abigail. <laughs> yes, we can play another time. I would love to. I'm going to accompany you outside, all right? Yes, sure. Do you want me to walk you home, Linda? Even though the sun was already gone, it was still warm outside. So then, <clears throat> thank you for playing the game with me. It really means a lot. Of course, I had a fun time too. It was a lot of fun. We should meet more often. You gave Linda a heartwarming smile. I'm glad I could spend some time with you. Me too. Next, the others could come too. I love spending time with you girls. Linda took a step closer. <gasps> Linda. But I was hoping to spend some time with you alone. Linda, you're making me nervous. Linda, hello. If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you heated up. We could we could do that. Good night, Abigail. <laughs> Good night, Linda. Linda took another step and kissed you on your cheek. <gasps> Smooches. Question mark. <laughs> you got all red and speechless. I wish you sweet dreams. Thanks. Linda rushed to the stables to get meteor. Oh, wow. You went back inside. I had such a great day. <laughs> you looked at the rose. 
Linda. You couldn't help but grin. I would definitely meet her more often now. Maybe she means a bit more to me than I thought too. Oh, we're getting romantic. All your thoughts were on her when you fell asleep. Oh, that's cute. Endings 105, Flowery Joy. So that took 30 minutes. And I got such a cutesy ending, I love that. Yep, this is the end of this route. I hope it wasn't too sudden. But don't worry, there are some other endings too. Or sometimes the conversations change a bit. Anyways, thank you so much for playing the game. I put a lot of work and time into it and I'm very grateful for every single player. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see your reactions of you playing the game, so don't be afraid to text me on Instagram at Therese Cat Camp or mention me in your story, etc. Thanks again. You are still here. <laughs> that was so cute. I will send you back to the title screen now. Thank you, Therese. That was so cute. I would love to like do the rest of story storylines. I just I just know for a fact that like this video isn't gonna um, get as many like people interested in watching it because it's a very different kind of game you know there's not high action gameplay or like a particularly not too much going on on screen it's a lot of reading and a lot of like story uh, i really enjoyed that though that was really good um there's a few like tiny um spelling errors or tiny grammatical um errors in the game but honestly it's so endearing i love it and i think the one critique is like we we it just comes on very strong at the beginning and i guess if that's idris that's idris but like we kind of feed into it as well and i wish i could have like set a boundary there but other than that i had so much fun i might i might end up doing oh the other uh endings maybe put it up as a members video i don't know i'll have to get some feedback from them to see what they think but yeah overall that was so much fun thank you at therese cat camp and shout out to natalie for helping her this is an amazing game i recommend you play it for yourself and choose your own path uh the link is in the description below so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye